Did I really get 91? Oh my god. Me, Lex, then what was it? Froya? Fro, then Diablo, then Tasty. I'm just gonna go die real quick, guys. So I'll see you guys next time, alright? I didn't even get to change my talents, man. I didn't even get to change my talents. That fucking sucks. Do I wanna burst him in the opener? Oh my god, I'm wrong build too. I'm a PvE ass build, dude. I'm literally playing a PvE ass build. That's not good. Oh no, I'm gonna get. Didn't get stunned? No, I'm not. <laughs> I didn't get stunned. Alright, alright. Hold on. How are you not dying, bro? How are you not dying? It's Alyssa! How are you not dying, bro? I got your pet here, I can heal off of him. That's fine. I can heal off of him, dude. Yeah, 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 I see it, I see it, I see it. Oh my god, at least I got my charge in, man. Oh, I'm dead, I am dead. I didn't have the right build! Oh, fucking bad. If I had a stun, like, he would have been dead. Although he did hit like a fuck ton though, hello? Alright, next up is a Rogue Lex. I fucked up, man. I came in just with a whole left tree even though I had everything. This is why I don't pay attention to the chat. Just because I don't get distracted, gang. And you're asking me, does they ignoring me? Because I need Papa needs to pay attention to the game. If I want to do well, Lex coming in at the Lissa, getting hit up with a trap. So Lissa already getting some distance. They're starting to kite. Lex, Lex, shadow steps to Thalissa. Thalissa gets away with the disengage. Should have another shadow step. Lex is still taking a little bit of damage. Vanish comes out. Still has B Shell Frosted Bleed on him. So should be found out in a little bit by Thalissa. Thalissa hatched him. Nope, wasn't able to catch him. Lex got a restyle. Thalissa is hanging out in the flare. Putting down their traps. Lex, there's not a lot you can do, my man. Unless you can somehow come in and pop burst. Or if you clock a shadows, honestly, you could probably do a ton of damage. Depends on what he has. Thalissa hasn't trinketed anything at all. So if Lex does have a big burst available, he's playing a short advantage build too. So just wait and out oh, his cooldowns. If he has a lot of build, a lot of burst available and saved up, he can actually do a lot of damage. Force these out of Thalissa. Reset as well. Coming in with a faint. Oh, the list is just dropping the CC everywhere, so this is actually working out for Lex just to be patient, forcing a lot out of the hunter. Getting hit by the trap. I think he trinketed that trap. Shadow Dance coming out. Cheap shot on Thalissa. Going in for some burst. Finally capping. Getting a trick out of Thalissa. Kidney shot. Thalissa's taking a lot of damage on the cheap shot. Does he have any anything? Has a big heal. Trying to get away. All the pets up on Lex the carry. Thalissa doesn't have any more defense unless he has turtle shell. Not a lot going on. Lex is popping in evasion. Cloak of Shadows as well. Cannot get away from all the pets. Vanish comes out. Should be able to reset with a Beast of Frost. It still has Dire Beast. Uh, Dire Basil is trying to catch up to him. So this is going in for the eye. No, didn't go for the eye. Should have went for the eye because it could have killed Lex. Now they're out in the open with low health. Gets a big heal. I don't know if there was a health. Yeah, definitely was a health zone this time. You can actually see it right here. I need to enable that for US time, uh, for US duels just so you guys can see it a little bit better. Lex now again waiting it out. Probably is running, uh, what is it? Soothing Darkness. So he's getting a little bit of healing while stealth up. Popping a concoction to heal back up. He has Mark for Death available. Traps are going to be up. So if Lex has a Cloak of Shadows or a Trinket, honestly, he should be able to do this. I doubt he has anything. I'm pretty sure he blew Cloak of Shadows and Evasion early on. Getting trapped up by Thalissa. Trinket and out of it. Thalissa getting some range to it. Lex trying to catch up. Getting stunned by Binding Shot. Didn't get a Kidney out or anything. Now forced to vanish. Actually a pretty decent vanish. Because he forced a lot out of Thalissa. Forced a Bestial Wrath. It does get Lex out either way though. I guess Lex had a doubt on him. Trying to catch up to Thalissa. Getting kind of done completely. Lex cannot catch up. But Thalissa takes him out. That's two people in Thalissa's pocket. Going up against Demon Hunter and Afroya. Getting ink capped on. Uh, throwing ink cap onto Thalissa. Getting freeze and trap. Trapped on. Those so are popping in turtle shell early. I guess going in for the heal out of the turtle shell. Getting the pets out on Froya. Froya's still hanging out. That's actually a pretty sure. Uh, is that a gladiator de demon hunter? Might be a gladiator demon hunter. Son of Thalissa. Artifact weapon and everything. Going in for as much burst as possible. And actually dropping Thalissa to about low health. Getting slowed by Thalissa with Arcane Pulse and still gets taken out. Now Arcanite is next. Playing 
Demonology, Warlock, Froy is trying to come at Arcanite as fast as possible, getting hit with a horror effect, probably gonna get hit with a fear, yep, stuns are probably coming out right afterwards, yep, getting stunned by the both pets, Stell Chaos Consumption, Froy gets out of it, Blur is up, trying to get some damage into Arcanite, go into Metamorphosis, Dodge is Infernal Stun, so Froya actually has a lot of damage into Arcanite now, Arcanite getting away, the pets are pounding on Froya, Ar Froya is actually just pumping in damage into Arcanite right now, getting feared with Wall up, so Froya's Metamorphosis is gonna be going down very, very soon, does he have any other defense? Maybe darkness is still available. Arcanet gets out even more pets. Dark glare. Darkness is up right now. Froya's last bastion of defense. Getting stunned on all the pets. Trying to do damage. Actually got some heal somehow. I guess got a heal out of getting the AoE stun on all these pets. Getting completely hammered down by so many imps. Those many dreadlords. Arcanet dropping under 1 million health. Froya solo. That mortal coil saves him. And those pets tear up Froya. Going in for a quick cannibalize. Cancel pretty early. So Arcanet is not going to get the cannibalize off the Diablo coming in, our enhancement shaman, fear comes in, reflect comes in, Arcanine is still taking a lot of damage and going to go down in a single swift burst, Diablo just takes up momentum, switches it onto dead, popping in defensive for himself, trying to get dead and forcing the turtle shot out dead fairly early on, still has a lot of damage, a lot of defenses, dead is not coming out as soon as those defenses and offenses go down, Diablo is still getting dead down to about half health, doing a fairly decent job, keeping himself alive, dead gets a big heal for himself, still trying to do as much damage, now he's going kind of for a cutting strat, trying to get away near an LOS area. Hex coming out onto dead. So Diablo can actually just take off a little bit of pressure, getting hit with a trap. Is that trap breakable? No! So Diablo is actually stunned in that trap. The trap is unbreakable. Dead is taking the time to dot up. Diablo doing as much damage and now dead is back to the cutting strats. Diablo is forced to run away. Manic Bed is coming out by dead. Barely into dampening, so there's not going to be a lot of healing reduction going on. Diablo is now on the defensive. Needs to get some heals. Dropping in a lightning surge. Told him to get a stun on dead. Dead is now came in, dot up Diablo and I throw Throwing in axes just to deal with damage. More traps coming in. Diablo has nothing left. And that was able to utilize whatever little LOS he had in order to beat Diablo the enhancement. That was very well done. Diablo did a really, really good job swapping attention onto dead though. We got Taste now going up against dead. The elemental Parable Storm Melee actually took a trap kill or a, a, ate a trap. Taste is now having to go against dead. And last time we seen Taste did dead go at him. If there's enough LOS, then Dead might be able to squeeze out of here, but with Runes of Lord and there's barely any Ice Fury coming out. Onto Dead does connect, doesn't get to use one of the charges of Ice Fury. Dead is going in for Manic Bandages, not a lot he can do with Flame Shock ticking on him. So, Tasty is now out in the open. Dead is taking advantage of the fact that Tasty is in the open. Healing Surges were coming out by Tasty. Now, Tasty is on the defensive, trying to leap, trying to stay offensive at the same time. Tasty dropping a, a below 1 million. Storm Bolt coming out. Astral Shift is up. Does that kill Dead? No, barely. Sacrifice was keeping him alive. Tasty barely alive. Needs to get those heals up before the next person coming in. Spartacus is letting them reheal. My man. Spartacus. That's fucking good, my man. That's actually solid, dude. I appreciate you being the man that you are. Tasty getting stunned up. Spartacus trying to get up to Tasty. I think there was a knockback coming in. Lightning Lasso came out. A trinket out of Spartacus. Gets rooted up. Still has a lot of pressure onto Tasty. That's a lot of his birds gone with Avatar and Rallying Cry. Or not Rallying Cry, but Battle Cry. Not available anymore. Tasty trying to recover with whatever little mana they have. Spartacus just hanging out with a pet. Not really doing a lot. Knows that he needs to get at Tasty. Needs to wait for some mobility. Gets a big leap. Charge at Tasty. Needs to get a stun back up. If he has a stun available, Tasty might go down here. Tasty jukes him completely. Going for those free healing surges a little bit. Spartica still trying to approach Tasty. Not really a lot of slows for him. Maybe he's going in for a mount. No, goes in for a stun onto Tasty. Doing some damage. Artifact weapon was out by Tasty. Wasn't the short, longest stun you've ever seen. Short charge at Tasty. Knock away. Spartica still has mobility as a Fury Warrior. Getting hit with a lightning lasso. So Tasty is doing a good job. Keeping him at bay. Ice Fury coming out. Reflect coming out by Spartacus. Saw that Ice Fury and that actually reflected back into Tasty. Spartacus didn't have to deal with it too much. Oh, Tasty tried to go for a juke and it kind of sort of worked. Tasty got a big kill out of it for himself. Another start coming in by Spartacus as we saw. Battle Cry and everything. Artifact weapon onto Tasty. Root coming in to hold Spartacus in place to tell him, hey, stop your burns. Hold it. 
Drop it, Sky Viewer told him. Drop it as many heals as possible. Tasty building up that Maelstrom. Popping in the uh, Air Elemental up. Lightning Lasso is uh, probably going to follow up with a knockout from Air Ellie. Ice Fury coming out into Reflect again, though. Tasty knocking Spartacus back. Does he have mobility as a Fury Warrior? Tasty now getting a full slow on Spartacus, who's actually caught out in the open. Trying to find some LOS. Healing Surge is coming out for Tasty. Spartacus maybe has one more chance to kill Tasty because his health is dropping down very fast. That element is gonna do a lot of damage. Spartacus caught again in the open. The storm bolt coming out. Stormkeeper charge onto Tasty. Big heal. Big defensive pop for the enrage regeneration. Stun onto Tasty. Trying to waddle over to him. Going in for burst. Lightning Lasso does interrupt him. Ice Fury coming out yet again. Does Spartacus have anything? Fear to stop it. Artifact open onto Tasty and gets taken out. Tasty barely survives it. Now, Laser Pew Pew. Who is a destruction wall going up against Tasty with dampening at about 32%. Going in with an impet. Tasty pops in for a moment, swaps places with Laser, completely swaps places with the guy, throwing him into the room, throwing the root on him, Tasty now juke it all the way to the other side of the arena, hanging out by the uh, the tomb. And Laser Pew Pew needs to get some damage going, he actually had his whole harvest burst up, so he won't have his massive burst available, to still have those Chaos Bolts coming in, those uh, portal shoots still do a lot of damage, Tasty going in for as much damage on Laser Pew Pew as possible with the Frost Shocks, Ice Fury, Lightning Lasso to hold him in place, not for, to stop him from approaching, trying to recover their health with 35% dampening, is it going to be any jukes? Oh, Tasty tried to go for in a juke, but Laser Pew Pew stands on top of the tomb, there's no way to avoid this guy, Tasty getting railed on, by two portals doing damage to him. Not too crazy of damage, but passive enough to hold the heals back. Lazy PPU just needs to stop Tasty from recovering health and light up a big burst. Infernal drop and Tasty getting hit with a mortal coil. Maybe if you're no, Tasty blinks away from it. Those infernals are still gonna chase after Tasty. Tasty trying to get whatever damage with the laser pew. Tasty hasn't been doing too much damage so far. Literally playing defensive, but any moment Tasty can turn this around as soon as they get enough of the maelstrom. Succubus coming in. All the infernals got rooted. Tasty is now in control of the situation. Getting a hex onto laser pew pew. Utilizing that root to run away. All the infernals start going down because they timed out. Ice Fury coming out onto laser pew with Astro Ship. Tasty is going in for a little bit of an offensive. Laser pew still trying to get those dots. Finally is able to establish Immolate onto Tasty but maybe a little bit too late. Tasty now coming around the pillar with the knockup elemental. Knocks up laser pew, stopping him from casting heals or any kind of damage on any kind of CC. Interrupts that fear. Chaos Bolt no longer can make it and Tasty now finds refuge behind the tomb, behind the pillar. Laser pew stuck in the open, getting a horror effect onto Tasty. Chaos Bolt coming in and actually lands it. Lands the Chaos Bolt, sands and felt fissure, reducing the healing. So that was the worst opportunity right there. Tasty is actually in uh, control where he could win. Oh, laser pew! Dropped under 1 million and I didn't even really notice that I was watching Tasty South the whole time. That was actually... Tasty pulled it out. I have no idea how. Shamans, man. Shamans. <laughs> Guys, should I boost a shaman or a druid? Really in between. Well, I feel like after watching this video, awesome rogue. I feel like a shaman is a good reason why you should... Uh, this video, this footage is why you should boost a shaman. Because look what Tasty did. Not only did he come back from like lower health bar, he had lower health for a long time.